We've all done a double take when mistaking a random person on the street for someone we know or know of, like the celebrity lookalikes Will Ferrell and Chad Smith, the actor and the Red Hot Chili Peppers drummer, respectively. But does everyone have a Dr. Danger? There's a fairly decent chance of it, actually, thanks to the limited number of genes that influence facial features. There is only so much genetic diversity to go around, said Michael Sheehan, an assistant professor of neurobiology and behavior at Cornell University, who routinely studies appearance variations and genetics in species such as paper wasps and house mice. If you shuffle the deck of cards so many times, at some point, you get the same hand dealt to you twice. That said, that deck of cards is incredibly voluminous, Sheehan noted. Scientists currently have no idea how many genes play roles in establishing, for instance, the shape of human faces or the space between people's eyes. There's a huge number of genes that contribute to things like facial structure and, of course, hair, eye and skin color, which are all highly variable, said Dr. Arthur Bedit, a professor of molecular and human genetics at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston. Evolution has seemed to favor a large degree of distinctiveness in human mugs. Sheehan and a colleague reported last year in the journal Nature Communications that human faces differ in their dimensions more than, say, hands vary in their widths and lengths. In addition, the scientists found that more genes are known to be linked to looks than to other areas of human anatomy. Over time, isolation from other human populations, alongside exposure to specific environments, the cold of northern latitudes or the warmth of equatorial ones, as an oversimplified example, led novel genetic mutations to arise, take root and characterize ethnicities. Keep in mind that all humans started out as Africans, millions of years ago. Now, with once isolated human groups bringing together all of their new genes, the doppelganger effect could be both enhanced and diluted. After all, the world's population has exploded from a mere billion at the beginning of the 20th century to more than 7 billion today. All of those extra folks around, even with blurring bloodlines, might increase the likelihood of people bearing an uncanny resemblance.